Each and every day, Jungle Fortress grows in wealth and power, and it seems that industry is finally coming to this godforsaken jungle. But as Jungle Fortress grows in wealth and power, the outside world's eyes are being drawn to it, and it seems that trouble might come for us anyway, sooner or later. So hey guys, today we're just going to be building, just building, yeah. Like I know this is just two straight episodes of building, but trust me, there's going to be like a massive surprise at the end. So you guys keep watching. Like this is also I'm going to help help you guys make this. Like I'm going to teach you guys how to make a statue like this. So like yeah, it's pretty simple really. You use two foundations, and like these two foundations right here, they serve as the two, let's say foot the foot of the statue, right? So, in Dwarf Fortress, you can't exactly build a giant statue. So, we're just going to build something that looks like a giant statue. So, trust me, we're just going to make something that's like a 3D model of a statue. It doesn't have to be that detailed, you know. As long as it looks like a statue in like the 3D view of the fortress, we've pretty much done our job. And since this game is 2D, it's not like we're going to need to see the face of the statue. I mean, I'm just doing this for like decoration purpose and just because there's so much stone always everywhere and the stone just lags up the game so we'll just make these super mega projects because i mean there's not much we can do and at the end of the day that's the beauty of draw fortress there aren't exactly any goals or objectives right now the goal of our fortress right now is to become a mountain home and eventually one day get our king to come and live here the king of our civilization that is come and live in jungle fortress where we'll probably have to make some gigantic royal throne room and bedroom for him but we'll get to that problem once we get to that problem right now our biggest problem is building these statues fast and yeah once we've built one thing like once we've built one level of the statue it all becomes pretty easy so right now we're just slowly chiseling out all of the dirt and it's like we're chiseling out the statue from the mountain itself you know it gives that illusion and it looks more i guess thematically appropriate but yeah we'll just make the ramps right now like you guys can like the making the ramps is optional but i think making the ramps makes the foot of the foot of the statue look a lot more realistic i would say a lot uh, a lot like actual dwarves could create this lot not that they do you know like this is our dwarves are doing something that's pretty pretty much never been done in their civilization or in any dwarven civilization really like i don't think anyone else has built a statue in to a fortress yet so i guess we're pretty much making history right now you know i i don't think anyone else has built a statue right now or if they have built a statue they haven't exactly made a video about it like i am so we we could be making history right now so that's pretty awesome So I'm just hoping to make this really fast because each day we spend wasting time on this statue. It's each day my my let's say my effort to become the first statue builder in Dwarf Fortress is going to get ruined. But right now we have to focus on our statue and our meeting quarters right here. We we'll build the meeting quarters right here, and near that meeting quarters we're going to have our bedrooms. You know, like in a circular. fashion so that everything is closer to the meeting hall and dwarves don't have to walk far to go to the meeting hall and get a drink and talk to each other because if dwarves don't talk to each other that that makes them angry and we don't want angry dwarves because angry dwarves start temper tantrums and everyone else becomes unhappy because of just one dwarf throwing a temper tantrum and it just completely ruins the game so oh, we have we have another trinket like in the last episode i think yeah we we have like four trinkets right now four artifacts actually not trinkets let's you know, let's put some respect on it you know we we made uh four trin four artifacts you know and they're all pretty eh, they're all pretty they're not exactly incredibly valuable but they're still artifacts and they're still making our fortress richer so we can't we shouldn't discourage this and luckily luckily they haven't asked for much you know like in my last game like in my last game through there were people asking for like 
metal bars during a siege it's like how do i get you metal bars during a siege we don't even have access to wood so we just had to like hope to god he doesn't go insane by the time the siege ended and the people just decided to leave but yeah right now our doors have been pretty pretty our doors have pretty much controlled their whole demands you know they brought their demands to control under control i'd say so we have to be thankful for that you know thankfully they're not asking for leather and stuff leather and golden bars or stuff because they do that sometimes they really do that it's insane like they ask for stuff that doesn't even exist in a fortress but yeah slight tangent aside we're just building these ramps like see what i'm doing right now i'm just building these ramps right now right here and i know this this building this right here will just destroy the staircase up upwards like it's going to destroy the staircase above us but we we'll just build another staircase you know there's plenty of wooden logs right near them they could just create another staircase upwards to like get out of here so it's not going to be that much of a problem and we just we are going to deconstruct these staircases anyway because we don't want them here because we're trying to make make it look natural you know once it's done we we don't want these staircases because they once the construction's complete we don't exactly need them you know right now i think wait there isn't i thought there was a trade caravan here i must have been mistaken whatever uh yeah see our body our lower body of the statue is almost complete as you can see uh, we're pretty much done with his belt and his lower body and we're just going to create his upper body right now like i don't know what material we're going to make this out of we figure it out as we go along that we could just dig deeper to get uh, like more exotic stones and blocks we can say yeah we need like blocks that look golden like bauxite and oh someone just fell get that man to the hospital immediately i think that was our leader who just fell i think he was deconstructing something and he just fell down for no reason like they they do that sometimes that's okay this is why we have a a hospital this is why we have a hospital luckily i don't think it was it was much of a injury because no one's dead yet so yeah if no one is dead yet you're doing good that's that's like the f- motto of dwarf fortress if no one is dead yet you are doing a okay and you should keep doing what you're doing because <laughs> yeah that's that's pretty much the rule of this game that's the f- one rule uh we're just going to create the final touches on our lower body once this is done all we'll have to be worrying about is the upper body and the arms and the head that's it then we'll be done and we'll have to move on to the statues inside of the fortress it's going to look awesome like you guys trust me i think we'll be done with the four statues in like a few episodes in like the next episode you know i think we'll be done in the next episode with these two statues in the entrance way and right now we also have another problem which is uh, we need this meeting room done and another problem is we also need to empty out these cages right here as you can see what uh, oh no i think i accidentally oh uh, yeah i think i accidentally deconstructed the floor beneath the cages but as you can see like we're trying to do something with these cages these cages are just full of undead people and right now these cages are just useless to us so so this is what we're going to do with these cages right now we're just going to empty these cages out like as you can see right now we built a we built a very primitive arena right here and we're just going to release them one by one for our dwarves to kill and i'm going to release them one by one because even when these even though these people are undead they can fight surprisingly well or you know people who are dead and don't have any brains they can fight surprisingly well and they're really good at martial and wrestling for some reason i think it's because they're hundreds of years old they're literally immortal and they've had lots of fighting experience compared to our dwarves so yeah i'm just going to be careful and just release them one by one right now oh, we we need them to we need them to bring the cage back to the stock pile so that we can tell them to put the cage down again 
yeah just a just a dwarf fortress moment right there that's just classic dwarf fortress yeah this is cool. yeah we just going to wait for them to take this cage trap back we just going to uh, yeah we just going to have to wait for this dwarf swordsman yeah they going to yeah here, here comes the miner he's going to take it back to the stockpile and then we're going to put it back meanwhile let's link this to a lever and if you didn't know we can link absolutely almost anything mechanical to levers so it's pretty great we can link cages to levers so that's pretty much the basis of our whole arena right here design we have one lever in outside the arena for our civilians to push and our military dwarves go in there and we just lock the doors behind them and they don't come out until they kill the guy that we tell them to kill inside the arena so that's pretty much our mock arena you we could say it's more of a live dummy training room like now like a live dummy training room you could say like a sparring room for where they fight real life enemies instead of just doing individual combat drills because i mean even in dwarf fortress our military getting practical experience fighting the enemy is a lot better than them just staying in their rooms and barracks just doing individual combat drills so it's a lot more efficient that way just trust me you know we going this is how we train grand master swords dwarf this is how we train grand masters and just amazing dwarves who are just like incredibly skilled at fighting and killing people they just absolute killing machines and her soldier has stopped drinking because he's chasing a lizard dwarf fortress man what can i say this is a dwarf fortress no certified you know drinking water isn't that important chasing lizards that's very important so yeah oh no one of our goats just died god damn it. like see this is what happens you know these 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 new immigrants you know the new migrants that come to a fortress they bring along these animals who are like completely incompatible with our fortress i mean we are underground guys why are you bringing goats here goats need grass there is no grass down here it's just rocks they can't eat rocks and i this is why this is why i just it's such a waste of an animal like we can't even butcher this animal after it dies is just a waste it dies for no reason because they just bring along these stupid animals for no reason they just like bring something normal like bring something that can actually live in a fortress but then again our dwarves aren't exactly known for their common sense and common sense is a very elvish trait so we don't exactly follow we don't exactly do that yeah we just going to throw all of this garbage which is all of the stuff that these stupid siege invaders left this is just the invaders garbage you know this is their siege equipment and stuff their weapons and stuff they just going to throw that away too along with the billy with the goat corpses yeah we just going to check we our entire squad luckily has metal all metal uniform so they're not exactly new to this you know. our squad is pretty experienced now they've been doing combat drills for a very long time but yeah as you can see they're just doing combat drills right now and for some reason they're not sleeping in their barracks but i think it's because we don't have enough beds oh speaking of fighting the enemy has just arrived looking for a fight i swear these undead people i think i think this is the last straw actually wait for them you know another invasion and then that will be the last straw like just wait for them to send one more invasion and once they send one more invasion we'll just attack them this time but this time let's just everyone let's just get in looks like we're defending from a siege again and i'm trying to check if anyone's left outside because we just locked the doors uh, luckily no one's been left outside yeah everyone's inside the temple and they're praying so this is a I'm trying to let's see if we have any animals outside. Uh, oh, yeah, we have a cat. We have a cat outside for some reason. See, this is this is so annoying. These cats just go everywhere for no reason. This is 
what the stray cats do you know the cats that don't adopt any dwarf they just roam around the fortress and just roam out in the entire area of the fortress for no reason we just going to make everyone inside the come inside the pen just get inside really quickly get the animals inside too, because the invaders they will kill these animals without hesitation like they're pretty defenseless and see this this is why don't bring mules here what the hell are you going to do with a mule this is a fortress this is a underground fortress what what are we going to do with a mule just 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 butcher him whatever we're going to unlock the doors for a final time no yeah these cats still go out oh my god there's more cats outside oh, i think this is the last try i think we should start butchering some of these cats because you know these cats just breed like crazy and we have to like slaughter them once in a while otherwise oh my oh, look at how small he is it's a cavy look how small that boy is that boy is so small he's a dog the can cavy sounds and exactly that big but he literally can't see him he's so small it's amazing oh yeah see this this oh what is our fisher dog doing outside get inside get inside get get, get the cat inside get the kid luckily we have we have we have ran out of drinks but luckily this is why we built a well we built a secure well in our location and oh my god there's like four cats outside for no reason get them inside for god's sake okay this is it i think i'm going to lock the doors after this i think i'm going to lock the doors yeah see they're just going outside for no reason why are they going outside they should be like listening to the pastor command you know they should be getting inside the fortress but they just run out for no reason and we should build like fence gates or something to keep these animals inside like in the real world but now this is we have no fences in your fortress and here they come they are coming in fast and we need to lock them we need to lock them yeah lock them anything outside is just it's on them now we can't help them anymore we should start cutting down the trees above us in case we need to make more cage traps but that is pretty much our go to plan is to just make cage traps and just capture all of them so they can be training dummies for our military and our military can get even stronger fighting them easy easy experience for our military we just got two logs from that tree like okay we can make two new cages gippy uh where are they? they are they right here they just roaming around trying to look for an entrance into our fortress but there is none because this is the only door this is the only entrance into our fortress right now thankfully luckily we are actually at peace with the goblins believe it or not our civilization is at peace with the goblins and the elves and i think we're at war with the humans sadly but we still have human caravans coming in here so we, i i think we're at war with another civilization of humans that are far away from us but yeah they just these undead are the only hostile enemy in the fort in the our area that we have to worry about and you know what i think one if they invade us one more time i think i'm going to send our military as a response team as a like to raid that raid and page them and we actually got one yeah see it's easy it's so easy they make it too easy and a stupid cat get in here a yeah, stupid cat yeah it's so it's too easy these days and the cats spawn inside oh he's just he's just drowning the pikeman corpse is just drowning thankfully i mean he's undead he can't exactly drown because he's undead but he's just stuck inside the water he's he can't get out and where's the other one he just he just running around oh what is he following he's he's very far away from fortress he must be following something i hope it's not one of our pets and livestock but we're just going to lock the door outside us and yeah see he he the guy who was drowning the under guy who was drowning in the water he just came outside yeah we just want to unlock the door wait for him to come inside is he coming yeah he's coming we'll just wait a stray 
oh one of our cats just adopted it i thought one of our cats died and oh this is why they this is why they ran so far away from the forest they're just chasing they're chasing elephants amazing and for some reason the elephants are running i mean come on they're elephants what this is so stupid the elephants should just charge them and trample them i mean they're elephants they can just pick them up and throw them why are they so scared of they are, they, they, the elephants are just running this is not how elephants act in real life elephants don't just run like this i mean elephants don't have the stamina to run this fast to like i am 100% sure right like, elephant can't run this fast but whatever let's see we are running out of alcohol we should make more alcohol because if we don't have enough alcohol the dwarves will get angry they will throw tantrums and you know the rest you know how it is and oh i think he landed a hit he actually landed a hit yeah this elephant blood like right here let's see he not not that one this one i think this one is following the elephant where did he go um, no he is not here yeah no, you know what let's just end this let's finish this we are just going to designate these people to be killed there's only one of them left let's just go and kill him finish him off i our military has more than enough numbers and skill to kill this guy and he's just an undead he's just an undead troll he's not exactly that big of a threat and yeah he just he be he be just killed him i no i think we now nah, we still following him i think he's running yeah he's running he's running from our dwarves for some reason i think it's because he knows that he's been outnumbered and all of his friends have left him and have been captured by us and here he comes here she comes here's our bodyguard you know she's the original one she's our militia commander she has been here since the fortress got started she is tun uh, tun something something i can't spell that name way too big but yeah let's see yeah she just destroyed him she just destroyed him so easily let's see how what her skills are shall we wait up wait 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 let's see what her skills are combat she is a legendary sword dog legendary discipline legendary fighter she is a beast she is a beast of war she is very good at fighting i mean that's just what happens when you know that's what happens when we give them something to fight she got 15 kills which is surprisingly a lot a lot less than i thought but whatever she's got 15 kills yeah and one of the undead died from our stone fall traps i didn't even realize that he just died from our stone fall traps very easily we're just going to throw him away into the pond throw him into the pond and as you can see our arena has been set up fully we have our two military dwarves and right now pulled the lever oh oh organs flying everywhere and dead dead instantly the power of our dwarves is amazing just organs everywhere just arms and legs everywhere they just completely dismembered her well done well done let's send them back to train again i'm thinking about like unenlisting them because if you if your dwarves train for too long they start to get angry over the fact that they've been training for so long and they haven't talked to their family members and who who look it's a reacher this is a very this is a very rare creature from the caverns this is pretty rare she is a humanoid monster found on the underground it feigns death nearby water and just pulls its victims in she's basically like the shy guy like she looks exactly like the shy guy scp096 she she looks exactly like scp096 she's been fighting this giant olm an olm is basically like a giant uh, axolotl you could say like a giant salamander that's what a giant olm is when they've just been kicking her and the olm for some reason she's bleeding i hope she makes it alive i mean reaches are pretty the caverns are full of some pretty rare creatures overall i made a review about i made like a video about uh, the rarest animals in dwarf fortress i forgot to put the reacher in one of the list but then again she's pretty common compared to like all the rare animals that i talked about in that video if you guys want to 
look at it it's in my it's on my channel you can go check it out it's a pretty fun video we just need it's crazy how many more workshops we need from like we went from the classic mason crafts dwarf and woodworkers workshop to like this this whole menagerie of workshops you know our dwarves are literally starting to like uh, specify on like what they do our dwarves are starting to get better at specific jobs they don't have to do manual labor anymore or i guess they don't have to do that much manual labor anymore i mean they still have to do something can't exact we don't exactly tolerate laziness in this fortress uh he wants i sh- uh crap see this is what i was worrying about he wants shining bars of metal which means we're going to have to make uh we're going to have to make a met- metal smiths workshop and wait why am i putting this let's just go down i'm going to put it outside the fortress for some reason we're just going to put this here we're going to put this here yeah let's put it here and with the metal smith workshop we have to make another furnace we have to make a smelter and a wood furnace to make charcoal we, we need like three furnaces max to start building and making bars of metal and using that those bars of metal to make furniture and stuff furniture and weapons we need uh i forgot what are we were looking for uh, what do i what do we need right now we have a wood furnace let's just make charcoal right now charcoal is pretty important we have plenty of wood so we don't exactly have to worry about charcoal uh yeah let's just cut cut this extra wood down near our fortress like the wood just grows so fast in this biome because it's a jungle biome i guess the wood grows super fast like in one day or two days whole trees just start growing out of the out of the ground you have our metal smiths workshop set up so i'm forgetting one workshop which one was it uh all right the smelter yeah the smelter we need we need to make a smelter let's make the smelter i mean wait let wait wait let's all right we need a smelter to like make the make the bars yeah we can't exactly make make it using magma forges yeah we need a smelter to turn the charcoal and ore into bars bars of metal and yeah let's just make this smelter right here uh, someone come along and build this smelter really fast like i'm worried about i'm worried about the guy who is in the strange mood he might go insane like we need to make this fast uh, someone make charcoal already make charcoal fast yes we got one unit of charcoal quickly uh, let's see what bar of metal we should make uh, i think we should make platinum that's the most that's the most valuable i think we'll end the episode once the guy is done creating this new artifact and as you can see our whole coffin uh, alley got bigger you know sadly as our fortress has been growing a lot of people have been dying to luckily we haven't lost a lot of people recently or even in the past few episodes we only lost people in like the beginning of the fortress so and most of it was just freak accidents that happened for no reason so our fortress is pretty safe all in all considering considering some fortresses literally just throw dwarves into magma just to see what happens i think we are doing pretty well and i think i'm being pretty generous with these people and yeah so this is how we this is how we disarm the people who come to our fortress you see we we designated as a dumping zone they just dump everything they dump their equipment and all of their clothes and then we just unforbid the cages and they take the cages back leaving behind their gear so that's how we disarm them we just make like a dumping stockpile right next to the cage stockpile and they just dump all of their stuff outside and as you can see they have no items anymore because all of their items are on the floor we'll just unforbid these items because we can smelt these down later 
and make them into steel bars and stuff like we have lots of iron that's great actually iron is like the second strongest material steel is the best material to make armor out of stop making charcoal we have more than enough charcoal finally he's begun the mysterious construction let's see what he's making and as you can see we are pretty much done with the two legs of the f we are done with the legs of two statues by now and yeah i guess that's it we had a pretty eventful episode this time but in the next episode i think we might have to start attacking people who are who have been threatening our fortress mainly the necromancers who have been sending these undead hordes behind us so yeah in next episode i think we're going to start becoming a lot more uh aggressive so i'll see you guys in the next episode like share subscribe bye